Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for The Cuckoo's Fiancé, Chapter 9. Uh, when we last left our heroes, Sashi had come to Nagi and Erika's place uh, to drop some stuff off for Nagi, now that he was staying there a little bit more long-term, and also to meet Erika, where they had a, a lot of cute interactions, culminating in um, the, and, uh, Erika giving uh, Sachi some clothes to wear and to keep, um, because she's never really... Got him to have clothes of her own because of her uh, her poverty. Uh, she described as only wearing Nagi's hand-me-downs and stuff she can wear at work, which is kind of sad. Uh, but anyway, let's just jump right on into Chapter 9, Can We Spend Our Mornings Together? Uh, and our cover picture here is another the Instagram theme uh, with Erica, and I'm not quite sure what that outfit is called. She's got, like, what I think it's a cardigan around her shoulders, uh, with, like, the soccer trees in the background. This love is in full bloom. Uh, we open on Monday. Uh, huh? What's wrong, Nagi-kun? Uh, this, like, seems to be in the morning. Eric has come to the living room, and Nagi has just crashed on the couch. I just don't really feel like going to school today. No, you should go! Is this maybe the first school day, um, since everything, everything happened with Hiro? Um, aren't you supposed to, like say something like it's okay to skip once in a while, or we all have days like that. Whatever, just go already. Fine. Uh, and he, like, goes off as she, uh, waves goodbye in the window, and Nagi thinks, what's with her? I wonder. Have I ever been, been this depressed about going to school before today? This is my first time going since that happened. And yeah, it's the, I have a fiancé, uh, from chapter six. And he sighs. How the hell am I going to face Seigo-san? Obviously, obviously she said that because she wants me to steal her, right? Ah, uh, Nagi, no. <laughs> I don't think that's what she meant. Nagi. Um. But maybe she said it because she wants me to leave her alone? It's probably somewhere in the middle there, I think. She might, and he's like freaking out, hand over his mouth. Even the guys around him are kind of freaking out. She might never even let me talk to her again. Uh, and he's like really shaking, uh, and the two guys around him are looking at him really nervous. And he eventually sighs, man, I really should have just skipped school today. Uh, and the two other guys also breathe a sigh of relief now that he's calmed down. Uh, and then we cut to the library, where Hiro's there waiting for him. Ah, morning, Umino kun. Uh, and Nagi just stares at her like, what? <laughs> I asked around about you. People said you arrive an, an hour early every day to study in the library. She asked about me? To find out how to beat you in academics, I reckon. It's just that I got kind of curious about what kind of, st I got curious about what kind of study technique you're, you're using. And Nagi's brain is off to the, to the moon. Asked around, curious about these interested love if it's all right with you, could we study together until homeroom? There's no doubt. And he kind of like blushes. Sure, whatever. She does want me to steal her after all. No, you fool. That's not necessarily what she's saying. Uh, and then they're, they're studying. It's nice to be able to focus like this. The school's so quiet and empty in the morning. Who knew we had a secret little oasis here? Uh, and Nagi is, uh, looks down. Excuse me. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and they're in, like, a filing room? Um, I guess this is a part of the library. Yeah, we see the books on the shelves. My bad. Uh, I saw the two bookshelves back there and thought they were filing cabinets, but I don't think they are. Uh, but there's just this, like, long silence over them. They're both kind of awkward. What am I doing right now? When I confessed, I had a clear goal and plenty of time to mentally prepare, so I was bat battle ready. But I'm really bad with, with situ I'm really bad with situations I can't predict. I should be able to take the, take the lead at a time like this. I feel so pathetic. Get it together. Just say something interesting. Uh, so he, he speaks. So, I was thinking, Seigo-san. Hmm? What's your blood type? I'm type O. Uh, and your birthday? May That's like his, his big idea, by the way. Sorry, I kind of like passed over that. Uh, interesting, interesting conversation topic is what's your blood type? And your birthday? May 2nd, I'm a Taurus. What's your favorite subject? All of them. I see. What is this, an interview? Even, even Nagi realizes how awkward a conversation this is. 
This is bad. I need to cool my head a bit. Uh, and he gets up. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. And then he trips. And he just falls like a flat onto his face. By the way, uh, segue here. Uh, that chapter title, uh, Can We Spend Our Mornings Together? I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction. That's going to be uh, Hero's Line. Um, just th throwing that out there in case I'm wrong. Uh, he falls on he falls onto his face. Are, are you okay? Lame. I'm so lame. Tripping over my own damn feet is super lame. Is that a seal book? Uh, she, the seal book is, um, is for collecting stamps and seals from temples and shrines. Kind of unusual for a high schooler, but it's fallen out of his, his bag, I guess. Uh, no, this is, and on top of everything she saw, uh, she pulls out her own. Uh, actually, I have one too. Your hobby is seal gathering? A hobby, you say? She has, like, big, like, look on her face. I prefer to be referred to as a collector. What? On my days off, I use the money from my part-time job to travel all around the country for them. Look at this. This seal is super rare and uses seven colors of ink. It's kind of like traditional, um, uh, like, Buddhist look, I guess. And this one pops out of the, con the constraints of traditional seals with a modern design. It is fucking Shobakun. All hail Shobakun. We love you, Shobakun. Uh, and this one? She's totally into this. Okay, okay, now how about you, Umiyo-kun? Uh, I mean, walking around with a seal book is pretty extraordinary. No, this is just, and he kind of turns away, you know, I just sort of picked them up. My mom's really into it, and I'd go with her, you know? When in Rome? So I guess I'm just a casual. Not like I can tell her the truth. Oh, I skip school and go to shrines to kill time. Wait, what? When is it, when, what Nagi are we, is this that skips school ever, huh? That doesn't sound right at all. Mm. What the fuck is up with that? Can I see? Uh, okay. Wah! And we, he, she opens up his steel book. The, this is a super rare commemorative seal you can only get once every five years. Huh? Really? I couldn't go that day because of a memorial service. Another memorial service? By the way, how many do you have? And she, like... Presses up, eyes like dead set, laser focused. Everything's a competition with her. 42. Uh, she like gets all dark for a moment and then shines. 187. Incredible. Well, when you put it that way, I guess if I really tried seriously, I could probably surpass you within a year. Not, don't stop, Nagi. What are you, don't do that. Uh huh, uh huh. No need to rush. Those seals, and she's like super happy, sh like literally lights behind her. Those seals aren't going anywhere. She's gloating, and he's like trembling now. I guess. Yep, yep. Well, I also got to school first today. You're just adding insult to injury. I'll let you know now. I won't lose tomorrow. Really? I wonder. Ah, oh, it's time already. Huh? Already? You really are fun to be with Umi no Kun. As this is as they're as they're leaving the library. Hmm. Can we spend our mornings together from now on? And yep, I was right. Uh, that was kind of an obvious thing by the time I said it. And Nagi, of course. <laughs> uh, and then he, we're back in his classroom. This is the best day ever. To think there'd come a day when I'd share a secret with a girl I like. Spending our morning together, engaging in a blossoming conversation over our shared hobby. To think dreams could come true at school. Is this even allowed? Well, right now for me. It came true. And he's already picturing his own wedding. <laughs> if things continue like this, we could actually end up getting married. That's right. When I see Seigo tomorrow morning, I'll tell her about how I have a fiancé, too. Seigo san and I can overcome this together. Okay, everyone, take your seats. The homeroom teacher comes in. It's a bit sudden, but today we have a new transfer student joining us. <gasps> oh, I know what's coming. Why Erika wa really wanted him to go to school that day. It's because Erika's transferring. Nice to meet you. I'm Amino Erika, and I'll be a student here as of today. Yep, there she is. There she is. What, what about her private school? Did she get kicked out for the fucking Instagram picture? Is that what happened? Uh, and now she's like, what the fuck? Um, and everyone's, everyone is like in various states of shock, I guess, because she's like so pretty or something. Uh, I look forward to getting to, getting to know everyone. 
Uh, and then <laughs> Eric has to, like, turn, turn away as she's, like, laughing. Oh, my God, Nagi-kun, your face. It was a success. You were expelled? That's the short answer. What's the long answer, then? Uh, you're way too loud. It's because of this. And yet, it, it was the Insta picture. This picture. I accidentally uploaded it to Insta. Come on, isn't there a five-second rule? Well, I immediately deleted it, but... I guess I was unlucky, because someone in Orpheus must have seen it. They took a screenshot and sent it to administration, and, well... Orpheus is all about being a ladies' school. They frown on improper fraternization with, with parties of the opposite sex. Then, wouldn't they kind of be upset if just her having a fiancé in general? I don't know. Wait, but that photo was, was just an accident. Exactly. That's why I thought I could talk it out in a meeting. But the day the meeting was supposed to happen, you collapsed from your cold. Uh, and Nagi, like, freezes. Since I was there and all, I couldn't just abandon someone after they collapsed. And, and Nagi's, like, now, like, head in his hands. And then Dad said, Then why don't you go where Nagi-kun is? And that's that. And Nagi, like, in horror, is, like, looking at, at, uh, at Erika. So it was my fault? Anyways, now that things are like this, the fact that we're engaged, that has to, and I mean has to, stay a secret here at school. Slip up in his heartbreak. Now begins his tightrope tight, tight rope walk of a school life. Next issue, Erika and Hiro suddenly grow close. Well, that does throw a wrench in Nagi's plans, given that he was trying to tell Hiro that he had a fiancé. Um, so yeah, this chapter is very easily divided into two, two parts, the Hiro part and the Erika part. Uh, and I feel like that's kind of telling of the series from here on out. Uh, because up until this point, it's been very much like we have a Nagi chapter, we have an Erika chapter, or we have a hero chapter. And that's kind of like how the series divides its time. Uh, but now, this chapter has an Erika part and a hero part. Uh, the beginning and end are Erika's part. Excuse me. As uh, we find out that she's um, transferring to uh, public school. Um, and now they have to hide their relationship from the school. Uh, or from, from their classmates, I mean. And then the middle part with uh, Hiro and and um, Nagi in the library. Um, and they're both, they both have some great moments in them. Um, I especially love, like, Hiro's intense, like, I will, here's another comp competition that I will win. I will be the better stamp collector. Uh, even if, like, it's such a minor thing to, to Nagi, to Erika, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to beat you at this, just like I'll beat you at every goddamn thing else, you brat. Uh, and that's why we stand Hiro Segawa, all right? She's she's an icon. Um, and then, like, her huge happiness when she realizes that, she, that she's winning this fight and that there is no competition. Uh, it's great. It's really, really great. Um, and, of course, we, we still see uh, Nagi, like, absolutely not understanding what Hiro is about He's convinced that not, that Hero's already into him, despite, like, she's probably not. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the Hero plotline that imagine I imagine will be brought up again next week. Especially because next week uh, is we have next issue, Erika and Hero suddenly grow close. Uh, so I imagine that's going to... We're going to get a lot of time with both of them. That's kind of the focus of this chapter. Next chapter, I mean. So I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, please drop me a like or subscribe. You know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!